In this lesson, we're going to learn how to convert or how to graph a logarithmic function uh, and what its graph looks like. So let's get started. Um, I want you to pause the video and take your notes. All right, it says to graph a logarithmic function, we first need to convert it um, to exponential form. So let's go ahead and convert this function to exponential form. And again, here's our base, 3. Our exponent is always the answer to our log, and then that is going to equal x. So if we're going to go ahead and graph this, um, it makes more sense to put in values for our y variable, since it's in the exponent, than it does to put in values for our x variable. So we're going to do this backwards. We're putting in values for our y variable, and I'm going to um, let you know that we should probably put in three different values to see what happens. And they're going to be the same values that we used back when we were graphing exponential functions. We're going to put in negative 1, 0, and 1. So if we put in a negative 1 into y, we get 3 to the negative first power is the reciprocal of 3, so x is going to be 1 third. If we put in a 0 for y, um, 3 to the 0 power is always 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. If we put in 1, we get 3 to the first power is 3. So let's go ahead and graph that and see what we get here. All right, so at one third, we're down here at negative one. So we're about here. At one, we're at zero, and at three, we're at one. All right, so if we put in, let's go ahead and continue putting some values in. Let's put a two in. If we put in a two in for y, we get nine for x. So all the way out here at 9, we're going to be up here at 2. So it looks like this thing's going to continue and go out this way. What happens if we put in a negative 2? If we put in a negative 2, we take the reciprocal first because it's a power, a negative power. So we take 1 third, and then we turn this into a positive power of 2. 1 third squared is 1 ninth. So x is now 1 ninth, and we're down here at negative 2. So now we're getting really close to our y-axis. And for a logarithmic function, I want you to notice that we're going to get infinitely close to our y-axis, but we're never going to hit it. This is a vertical asymptote of x equals 0. Okay, and our logarithmic function is going to get closer and closer to that value, but it's never going to hit it. And our log looks like this. That's the graph of our logarithmic function. Well, let's go ahead and, and take the inverse of our logarithmic function, and let's graph it on the same axis so that we can see what the inverse looks like. To find the inverse again, we just switch our x and y values. So I'm going to just take the exponential form and switch the x and y values. I get 3 to the x equals y. This function looks a little bit better. And I'm going to set up my table here. And I know for an exponential function that as long as I'm not moving it up or down, that my horizontal asymptote is going to be right here on the x-axis. So I'm going to dash that in and say y equals 0 for that. Plug in my standard numbers of negative 1, 0, and 1. If I plug in a negative 1, I get 1 third. If I plug in a 0, I get 1. If I plug in a 1, I get 3. So let's go ahead and graph those values. At negative 1, I'm at 1 third. At 0, I'm at 1. And at 1, I'm up here at 3. My graph of this exponential function is going to look like this. And we can see that if we plot here that, that line of symmetry for inverse functions, y equals x, that they are symmetric across this line. Here's my exponential function, the inverse of my logarithm function. And here's my log function. Um, and they definitely are inverses. They're symmetrical with respect to that line y equals x. So let's take a look at how to graph a logarithmic function when the base is a fraction. All right, so 
let's build or let's change our logarithmic function into exponential form. So here's my base, one third. I'm going to raise my base to the power of y and set it equal to x. And again, I'm going to put values in for y because I find it easier to put values in um, to my exponent and calculate that out to a number than it would be to figure out the exponent if I put in a value for x. So I'm going to start with negative 1, 0, and 1 and see what actually happens. Well, if I put a negative 1 into my exponent here. That means to take the reciprocal of this. And so I'm going to take the reciprocal of 1 third and I get 3. If I raise 1 third to the 0 power, it's going to be 1 because anything to the 0 power is 1. If I raise 1 third to the first power, I'm just going to get a third. So let's go ahead and go 2 and negative 2 and see what happens. If I square 1 third, I get 1 ninth. And then if I raise 1 third to the negative 2 power, I take the reciprocal, which is 3, and I square it to get 9. So that's what my um, log function should look like. So let's go ahead and graph some of these values. Hopefully most of them will fit on our graph. All right, so at 3, I'm at negative 1. At 1, I'm here at 0. At a third, I'm up here at 1. At 1 ninth, I'm all the way up here at 2. Um, at 9, which is all the way out here, I'm going to be down at negative 2. So it looks like my vertical asymptote is still here at x equals 0, because if we plugged in a negative 3, our x value would be 1 27th, and that would be really close to the um, y-axis, if we plugged in a negative 4, it would be 181st, and we're going to get closer and closer to this y-axis, but never really touch it. So a logarithmic function with a fractional base, a base that's between 0 and 1, is going to look like this. So now let's go ahead and change its exponential form. Um, let's find its inverse. So if we find the inverse here, we're just going to switch our x and y, and it looks like this. And let's build our table of values and graph that really quick by putting in negative 1, 0, and 1. We know that for exponential functions, they have an asymptote at x equals or y equals 0, as long as we're not moving it vertically. And then if we plug in a negative 1, we're going to get 3. A 0 gives us 1, and a 1 gives us 1 third. At negative 1, we're up at 3. At 0, we're at 1. And at 1, we're at a third. And we're just never really going to hit our x-axis, and it's going to look like this. Okay, let's make sure it's symmetrical and dash in our y equals x line. And if you take a look at that, these two functions are definitely symmetrical across that line, y equals x. Okay, so in both of these, our black function, our black graph, is the graph of our logarithm. And you're going to be doing that in your homework. So make sure that you know how to graph that logarithm by converting it into exponential form like this and plugging in values for y instead of x and then plotting. Remember, for a logarithm, you always have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, as long as you're not moving your graph around.